If there's one thing I really wanted to improve in my editing workflow, it's the time it takes to get things done. That's where this little device entered my life. Turbox sent me their Elite Plus, a controller which promises a boost in efficiency in almost any form of digital art, including video editing. Of course, I had to test it. Think of it like a game controller, but for video editors, illustrators and photographers. You operate it with your left hand while your right stays on the mouse. It has an ergonomic layout, 11 programmable buttons and 3 customizable scroll wheels. And the idea is simple, you keep your hands on the tools and stop looking down on your keyboard to hit the correct shortcuts. Design and build quality. My first impressions, it is solid, heavy and minimalist. The Elite Plus I got comes in the semi-translucent ice finish, which honestly looks really nice on my desk as a tech enthusiast. Weighing over 400 grams and with rubber feet underneath, it doesn't move around at all. Underneath the device, there's the battery case and an off switch and a Bluetooth button for connecting and switching between devices. The connection is super quick and reliable and I have never had any random disconnects. The Elite Plus supports dual device pairing and you can switch between two devices instantly by pressing the button underneath. Switching took about 3 seconds. Not a deal breaker, but something I noticed. Yes, you heard correctly. You can even use it with your iPad. More on that later. The buttons are all easily reachable and feel satisfying to press. They are tightly integrated into the shell, no wobble and it doesn't feel cheap. Which for a $300 device is kind of expected. The scroll wheels are placed well too. I use one for zooming, one for scrubbing frame by frame and one for skipping faster through the timeline. They also include haptic feedback, which you can tweak in intensity or turn off completely. My only critique is the clicking sound. Personally, I'd prefer silent feedback, like typing on an iPhone in silent mode, but that's a point Turbox could implement in future versions. Through combo presses and double clicks, you can assign over 150 shortcuts, which is plenty enough. There's no doubt the Turbox Elite Plus feels premium and well made. But does it actually work? Does it save me time in my editing workflow? Let me show you how I use it in DaVinci Resolve. For the editing page, I've set up a simple workflow with zooming, scrolling through the timeline, fast forwarding, rewinding and making cuts. Let's see this in action with the clip I've prepared. If we watch it back, we can see that there are some frames we need to remove. So I use the big scroll wheel on the toolbox to roughly navigate to the end of the clip. And then I use the middle scroll wheel to find the exact frame. Here I press my cut to end button to trim the clip. Now our clip is still a bit shaky, so we need to stabilize it. Let's open the inspector and apply some stabilization. I can use the hover feature on the toolbox and adjust the values with the scroll wheels. And finally to extend the clip length and further reduce shakiness, I will slow it down a bit using the retime controls. The cutting of our clip is now complete, so let's head over to the color page to do the color grading. I start by changing the gamma to linear, then I reduce the luminance mix to zero and adjust the white balance using the gain wheel. For this, I hover over the color wheel with my mouse and then use the toolbox scroll wheels to tune the settings. It's like point and control without the need to click, drag or type on the keyboard. This hover and scroll combo gives super granular control over the look and speeds up the creative process. It's like hover and control without the need to click, drag or type on my keyboard. The hover and scroll combo gives me granular control over the look and it speeds up my editing workflow. Now I want to take a closer look at my grading. So let's enter full screen by double clicking the top button on the toolbox. I'm generally happy with this grading, so what do I think about the toolbox? The toolbox generally feels more intuitive than my mouse and keyboard. Especially the scroll wheels make a huge difference. It might even come close to a physical grading console. Yes, you could technically do all of this with your regular mouse and keyboard, 
but having a dedicated device like the Turbox makes things less stressful. Especially if you're dealing with long interviews or having a deadline or having multiple projects at once. It just speeds up your workflow and you don't have to memorize all those shortcuts. And it's not just about speed. With something like the Toolbox, editing is more enjoyable. To be honest with you, the first week was rough. I was slower than usual because I had to adjust to the new layout. But after around two weeks, my muscle memory kicked in. And now I'd say I'm editing about 30% faster than before. And most importantly, I enjoy the process of cutting, editing, color grading a lot more. Should you buy it? Well, it depends. If you are a beginner and edit casually, it might be hard to justify the high price tag. But if you are a professional or if you edit regularly, the efficiency boost is real. Once you get used to it, it speeds up your workflow and reduces the fatigue in your hands, physical, and mentally in your mind because you don't have to remember all these short keys. But before you buy it, there are three drawbacks you should consider. The first one are the button and wheel noises. For me, I don't like these clicky noises, but maybe you like them. So think about it. The second thing is, the Turbox Elite Plus is still battery powered. And in 2025, I would prefer a dedicated battery with USB-C charging. And the last issue I had with the Toolbox is the limited iPad support. They advertised the support for iPad, but there still isn't a preset for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And when I tried to add some shortcuts, some of them worked because they were on the keyboard, but some others I couldn't get to work. For example, I wanted to have the timeline scroll in the scroll wheels, but when I tried to edit, there was only a keyboard where I could choose the shortcuts and not the mouse wheel. Other than that, it worked well even on the iPad. So what are you using in your workflow? Do you have still a normal mouse and keyboard or are you using a controller? And would you try the Toolbox? Let me know in the comments and if you're already here, you might also enjoy this video.